This is the new 2022 Audi R8, the everyday supercar. Because it's an Audi, it's reliable and approximately 1.8 million other reliable cars are built by this company every year. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys everything you need to know about the new 2022 Audi R8. The design hasn't changed much over the past 15 years since its first release. The original Audi R8 didn't just refine the everyday mid-engine supercar in 2007, it also represented a new and brave design direction for Audi. <laughs> Design elements such as the slat vents below the front and rear lights and the iconic side blade makes the R8 distinctive and interesting from a distance. We have bigger 20 inch wheels, lots of additional carbon on the wings and boot lid, and those black badges that are now available as an additional option, if that's your sort of jam. Having had a bit of a facelift after the original design, it maintains the versions of those elements, but in process has adapted the fuzzier design language seen everywhere else in the Audi range. The front end's aggressive openings and those three fake slip vents under the bonnet shut line are now found on everything from an A1 all the way up to an RS Q8, making the R8 feel less bespoke and more Audi. However, this is how Audi claim they see the design of their new R8. The single frame honeycomb grille in gloss black with the R8 emblem and imposing air inlets really shows the character of the Audi R8 coupe. Features including the continuous air vent grille and the dual branch chrome plated tailpipes. The Audi R8 coupe comes with 19 inch alloys as standard or when you upgrade to the R8 V10 Performance Quattro it comes with the 20 inch alloy wheels. Let's move on to the engine, the heart of the R8. It's a naturally aspirated 5.2 litre V10, which is largely carried over from the old R8 models. But now having rammed in the ECU, we've got an extra 10 horsepower. Taking the power all the way up to a hefty 611 horsepower. This is for the Quattro models, being delivered at 8,000 RPM before the limiter steps in at 8,700. Peak torque is at 428 pound feet at 6,500 RPM. But now shorter gearing means this isn't so much of a problem as you think. The V10 Performance rear wheel has a lesser peak of 562 horsepower, but torque only drops slightly to 405 pounds of feet. The V10 is in all models, with the transmission happily helping you do all the hard work. The seven-speed S-Tronic twin clutch fires home rates fast and slick, while down changes are reported with a nice tone of throttle. However, people have reported that the pedals are so small and cheap feeling. The brand's Quattro four-wheel drive system is effectively set up. It can vary in torque to suit conditions, even sending plenty to the back axle for some interesting cornering exiting entertainment, if that's your thing. With Audi's amazing four-wheel drive Quattro system, launch control and rapid shifting gearboxes allows the R8 to do a stunning 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds for the rear wheel drive. However, in the Quattro R8, it will do an amazing 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds. Audi quote the top speed of these R8s to be around 205 miles an hour, as these are genuine 200 miles an hour supercars. The Spider, however, reaches a benchmark of just 0.1 seconds slower and having one mile an hour slower of a top speed. Although the Quattro offers higher performance on paper with significant increase in power, the result isn't that much noticeable on the road. You're never left wanting more power from this rear wheel Audi R8, as the Quattro model is still exceptionally fast and controllable in any weather conditions. The V10 creates such a vibrant entertainment in the cabin, that ultimate performance that we're forgetting about. The sound is so spectacular with the standard exhaust, although there is an option for a sports exhaust on the Quattro edition. The R8's approachable nature is not much different on the road either. Despite the supercar shape, the upright windshield and lower suspension, it still makes an easy car to place, whether on narrow, winding B roads or inner city streets. Up the pace of the R8's friendly nature and it still remains, even when you start to put in that full firepower of having a heavy right foot. The steering is more accurate and faithful to its input than previous dynamic steering racks, but is subject to the tyre pressure and of course temperature. Unleash the full potential of this V10 though, and the chassis underlying balance comes to be your foe, still making the V8 very friendly at 600 horsepower being a mid-engine supercar. Thanks to the amazing build of torque, the R8 still feels manageable at those higher speeds, helping you to still control the power 
on the front axle grip. This is still a wide car though, and however it might be friendly at speeds, it does lack the playfulness such as the 911s. Get it on a track though, and you'll be able to more flamboyantly explore the r 8s limits. With supercar performance, it's not unheard of of a low MPG. So what is the Audi R8's running cost and claims of MPG? Audi claimed 22 miles to the gallon and 21 on the carbon cycle of the V10, rear wheel and quattro. With motorway and B road driving being a little bit more higher with a mixture of low to mid 20s. This is very much subject to the usage and the driving style though. And on sprinted runs, you're more likely to see figures in the teens or even lower, should you venture on a track. The standard warranty runs for three years or 60,000 miles on an Audi R8. For an extra £2,555, Audi will sell you a five-year guarantee which or which will cover you up to 90,000 miles. Audi recommends an oil change every 9,000 miles with more detailed inspection every 19,000 miles. The high quality cabin might be slightly confidential in designs, but the layout is very plain and simple. The seating position and view through the windscreen sets the right tone and the quality of materials used are definitely up there with some of the best supercars for the price that you get it for. There's a useful storage area behind the seats too, as well as a deep storage compartment in the nose of the car. The cabin is dominated by the virtual cockpit, which locates all of the entertainment and navigation screens within the instrument binnacle. Along with the rev counter and speedometer, the entire area within the binnacle is a TFT screen, which allows the driver to choose between a number of display options from a full-size map to a big one, to central, to even centering your rev counter. The 12.3 inch high resolution Audi virtual cockpit as well as the MMI navigation, the MMI touch. The MMI touch interface recognizes your handwriting. You can input characters and scroll and zoom with your fingers. Effectively, you can control the MMI using the voice control system too. The driving assistant technology includes a parking system at the front and rear and a rear camera. Audi Connect is a 4G enabled internet connection that allows the driver to stream music, access weather, traffic or flight information and also acts as a hotspot for your personal mobile phone device. Virtual Cockpit and Audi Connect put the R8 right at the front of the class for technology and connectivity. Everything works well and productively. There are advantages, it seems to be a supercar built by the same people that make those posh family cars across all S lines and RS models too. You can, however, have optional bucket seats in these, but they'll send you back an additional £3,000 over the RS line seats. And people have stated that these are less comfortable than the standard seats without offering much support. That said, with the Spider Model 2, the roof rides a few inches lower, meaning that taller people may notice this. It is an amazing all-day supercar, and for your all-year round, it is never a hardship car. Every one of those miles make you feel so special inside. So, what's the damage if you want to grab one of these new Audi R8s? Well, it depends on the package and what model you go for. It starts off at £132,000 for the V10 rear-wheel performance model, all the way up to the V10 performance Quattro edition from £160,000. But with all the added extras and features, such as colour change, bucket seats and carbon package, you could be setting yourself back even as much as £180,000.